Good evening. <laughs> Good evening and um, welcome to the third in this uh, second series of uh, French Passions. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to welcome Simon McBurney, who is going to talk to us about uh, Rabelais. I wanted to start by asking Simon the obvious question, why Rabelais? Why did this extraordinary figure first make an impact on you? Because he's necessary. I mean, why for me, why I need him, you know? I need Rabelais. There are uh, people that you need in your life, certain artists that you need, and I need a, a, a Rabelais. If I feel trapped, or if I'm in despair, <coughs> I know that I can open uh, this book and uh, look at a chapter and immediately I will feel uh, relieved and released, relieved perhaps with laughter, released into a sense of freedom. I mean, it's really, you know, you, I need him like I, I need to shit. You know, this is the key thing. When you, if you can't have a shit, it's very uncomfortable. And when you do, you are relieved and you are released. You feel a great deal lighter. You, oof, you know, everything feels better. You go out, you know, you go in and there's a kind of, you know, you're laden down with an effort and you come out and everything is possible again. So to, you know, to pass a turd always, I think, you know, maybe that's worse to have a shit is, whoa. You know, that's a, sort of that feels like the right area, you know. Um, uh, I mean, you know, fart is a good word too, I think. They're all old English words, short, fart, shit, fuck. They're all sort of straight, ooh, ooh. They're Saxon words, ooh, ah, uh, you know, they engage the body. I mean, fart, of course, comes from paired, paired, which is an onomatic peak word, you know, in French, pi, 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 pi. It's essentially the <laughs> that that is that is the word you know um, you know one of the one of in the seventies of course we were in the words of the great George Carlin you know the seven words in the seventies that you can't say on television shit piss fuck cunt motherfucker cocksucker and tits those are the words you can't say on television cocksucker cocksucker we've we've we've, we've misunderstood these words cocksucker it's changed its meaning. It means a bad man. Cocksucker means a bad man. He used to mean a good woman. Um, so, I mean, for me, Rabelais is, you know, is about, uh, uh, is about uh, release. Comedy exposes the truth. Uh, and this is what Rabelais does. And struck the archer who was holding him on his right entirely severing the sweated arteries in his neck, his jugular veins, together with the uvula, right down to the two thyroid glands, then withdrawing his sword, prized open the spinal marrow, half open between the second and the third vertebra, at which the archer dropped down dead. Yes. My lord posterior, my friend, my lord posterior, you shall get it on your posterior. He is pre-Cartesian. There's no separation between mind and body. And in my opinion, he's absolutely right. Um, for Rabelais, the body is good. Nothing bad comes from the body. The body in all its forms, its anguish, its sorrow, its happiness, its shitting, its loving, its fucking, its farting, its pleasure, it's higher pleasures, it's interest in other things, it's, but it's also it's interest in food. There isn't any separation between one thing and another thing. If you like, our mystical experience begins in our bellies for Rabelais. Anything which goes with, is up at the top is connected all the way down 
to what is right down at the bottom. After long and careful experimentation, said the young Gargantua, I've invented a way of wiping my bum, which is the most royal and most lordly and the most excellent one ever seen. Squitter shitter, farter thundering, dropper dunger, larder scumbering, squirting, turding, fouling. May Eripsilus bite you, sir. If failing, your ring cleaning, you wipe it not without demur. Shall I go on? Yes, please, said Gongoussier. Above everything else, Rabelais is about now. It's about the present moment. And that's a very difficult thing for a writer to achieve because generally when you write, everyone, particularly a narrative or a story, it's always leading on to the next thing. It's about what's going to happen next when the ending will come. And on the contrary, in Rabelais, what happens is he takes you right into this moment now. The reason, again, coming back, uh, why perhaps he stays with me or why... Uh, I consider him political, is again to do with this question of the present and of time. Because we live in a time where we are very rarely present. We have the illusion that we're present, that we're very sensual, we're surrounded by images of sex, we're surrounded by images of food, but they are sanitized images in which kind of very rarely do we see the animal being killed. When we go into the supermarket, we can't tell. The images of sex are super sanitized, you know. Rarely do you get, you know, I wish somebody would put a sort of a huge image of a great hairy cock one day to say, you know, buy this car. At least it would be more honest, you know. <laughs> the only way I could conceive of staging Rabelais would be in the dark, so that all people would do would be to listen and somehow be present that way, because uh, everything that he does is I mean, the extraordinary thing about his language, and I wish I could read some in some of the original French, because it has the same quality as... Um, uh, uh, as something like Chaucer, if you can read it, you know, uh, you know, and then he let flay a fert as loud it were a thunder clout. Seeing such gloom your joy doth ban My pens to laughs, not tears assigned Laughter's the property of man Live joyfully <laughs>